Alright guys, welcome to another tutorial from Charles VFX and today we're going to be learning how to make this effect. Not impressed. And also don't forget, at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to show you a technique whereby you can write whatever you want to write on the poster like you know change it to whatsoever posterize you know wanted um, granted whatsoever it is just make sure you follow along with this tutorial and today we're gonna be using this awesome edit made by x parker on tiktok and i'll be linking his tiktok name in the description make sure you do well to follow him for more videos like this also if you want to download the project file or the assets i use the link will be in the description without further ado let's get straight into this tutorial so first off, you have to open After Effects, turn on New Project. We're going to be picking up our edits. I already have it downloaded. Like I said, the link will be in the description if you want to follow up with its exact videos. The next thing we're going to do is mark the point we want to take our screenshot from. All right. I think I like this one more better. We'll just double the layer, Alt, left bracket, all right, and freeze frame this one. Yeah. So after that, we import our poster and just do it this way. So the next thing we're going to do is max out this medium. All right, we're going to take the pen tool or just go down to this rectangle tool and create a max around this click to add photo. All right, hold control to evenly expand all parts. Okay, and I think we have this. So the next thing we're going to do, duplicate this freeze frame layer, then you zoom this down, you know, scale it down and make sure it's the right proportion. Now we have something like this. And we have this. So we just pre-compose this bolt layer. Just take a little bit to this part. Pre-compose these layers with Control Shift C and <clears throat> move all attributes. All right, so I'd like us to edit the poster first of all before we edit the video. We'll go in here, all right, and we'll come down here and we'll do this. Let's uh, let's add a tritone, a tritone effect. Yes, now we're trying to blend the image on the poster with the poster itself, you know. And yes, we get something like this. You know, you just use the mid tones, um, pick this color picker, and just click on a part of the poster and now. Uh, we have an image like this. You can also, you know, blend it a little bit and just, you know, uh, blend with original, but I think I like it this way. And the next thing I'm going to add is noise, a little bit of noise texture so it doesn't look too perfect. Noise, yeah, so it looks like, you know, it's a uh, it's from like a 1940 poster or something like that. Mm. All right, so this is what we have, okay? This is what we have, this is good. I'd like us to add a little brightness to it brightness and contrast it is still dark to me i don't know you can just add more effects not to the poster but to but to the superman clip itself yeah i like it i like this all right i like this all right so we're done with the picture editing now let now let's edit the poster itself so add a wave warp so you get this little bit of motion so you i normally do um, five, four, five, eight hundred or five, five hundred. Just anyone that works for you. So this is what we have when we use five, five hundred. Uh, but it's still moving too fast for me, so I, I'd like to move it to five, eight hundred. So we have this. Okay, then reduce this to three. Okay, I like, I, I like this. Well, then. Crank it up a little bit. All right, so we have this five and um, three eight four four works for me, or whichever one works for you. I turn into yeah this angle where the wave is going to. Let's say one eighty. I set mine to ninety because I like I like the wave that way. Then the next thing we're going to add is roughen edges so it looks like a like an old paper like a toned paper so it doesn't get a perfect feel look just look at the details 
we added you know this is without the roughing edges and this is with roughing edges i can just increase this a little bit so i see more of that here okay yeah uh cool. then the next thing we're going to add is a drop shadow a drop shadow a drop shadow gives it like this uh set to the um, like it's like a real layer it makes it look like it's a real layer so uh we're going to turn it to this other side give it a little bit distance increase the opacity then soften it a little bit all right so we get that softened so this is what it looks like without a drop shadow with a drop shadow all right then next thing we're going to add is glow you now you can add any kind of glow but i'm going to be using a deep glow a deep glow yeah you can add a normal glow but i'm going to be using a deep glow so we just reduce the reduce the exposure a little bit to get this settled effects and use the radius too so i think with that we're good with the poster edit so the next thing we're going to add is the background image we're going to be editing this so the first thing we're going to be adding is a tint so it loses all color then the next thing we're going to be using again is cc vignettes all right this gives it like a center focus i turned off the poster so this is what our cc vignette looks like all right i just so the next thing we're going to be adding is noise let's add some noise texture so it doesn't look so perfect like i said you know uh, the beauty about making effects is not is making it look um not so perfect you know like if, if it's so perfect like this is too perfect to be real so you get the unreal details to it all right a little bit of noise and so we're going to be adding a scan line you know like a scan line effect um this is the scan line i should have that okay so this is a third party plugin well if you don't have it no problem i'll show you how to do it for free in after effects no pay plugin at all all right so i like it this way all right okay this is okay it's okay yeah so in case you don't have bcc scan line or s scan line uh, this is what you're going to use venetian blind the venetian blind effect does same thing yeah all you just have to do is just add it to the clip then increase the transition completion, turn it to 90 degrees and increase the transition completion a little bit. Then reduce the width, All right? Reduce the width and don't, don't touch the feather. The feather is more like you're opening it. So this is with Venetian Blind in After Effects and with Scanline and, and VCC. All right, so the next thing we're going to do now is add a transition to our poster. So we're going to use our Control Alt Y, create a new adjustment layer, then Control Y, create a new solid, make sure it's white. This is what we're going to do. See when it's 100 over here, we have before, turn it off over here, then back to zero. All right, first start. All right, this is quite okay, but I'd like us to add some shapes and some, you know. So I'm going to be using S underscore shake. This is also a paid plugin. Um, in case you don't have that also, I will show you how to do it without, without S underscore shake. So we're going to get the amplitude to put a keyframe on the amplitude over here. U to see all keyframes. Make sure it's one over there. Then turn off the, take it to zero before it starts take it backward and take it to zero so we have this and we have you know this then you know back here and it's back to zero all right but you can see it's shaking way too off so what we can do is reduce the frequency of that shake all right let's say let's do three all right three point something all right so this is what we have but it's very blunt so um if you hold alt and drag this keyframe they're going to be more settled more spacious all right so then we use f9 we turn it to f9 um, then we'll do the graph effect make sure it's a smooth one okay now this is good right, this is good so we have this in case you don't have the s shake this is what you can do 
you do control alt y create a new adjustment layer cut out the rest part then you open up p hold alt click on the stop portion while holding alt and then you type in wiggle wiggle and um, let's say thin 25 mean 10 times per second the value will change 25 times the value all right and this is what we have still all right when you have that set up you then pair in the layer that you want to shake like the layer you want to shake hmm, that's work uh, the layer you want to shake you pair it to the adjustment layer like this and this is what you're gonna get let me turn up this one it's not stopping like so to reduce that, the next thing we're going to do is add a slider control. A slider control helps you control the power of the effects. So we're going to come down here, all right, then hold down this 25 value, then hold this pick whip and click on this, like this, all right. Then you close the back bracket like this, all right, and we're good. You keyframe it with a slider control now. So at this point, it gets to, let's say a 10. Okay, let's say 25, 26. Then come, oh my God. Then it comes back here and zero. So. Then you come back here and say to zero. All right, so we have this, all right? Well, I can still see some edges to fix that. What we're going to do is add a motion tile effect and put it on our video layer, like the background layer. And increase the left and right width and turn on mirror edges and we're done. Okay, now you see it does the same thing. So I hope you understand how to do it with the effects and without the effects. All right, so if I turn it off, this is what we get. All right. I can still smoothing out things by adding the F9, the keyframes, smooth curve. Let's say you have something like that. Now the next thing we're gonna do is add turbulence displays. I'm not even using the BCC anymore because I feel like I love the normal shake than the S shake, <clears throat> right? Turbulence displacements, turbulence. I already have a, a preset I made already. But I'll show you how to do it again from scratch. So this is what it looks like. So put the white solid above everything. Make mm. this zero and all that. All right. This is what we have. The turbulence displays. This is what we have with the turbulence displays. So after this, now we're going to animate this poster. All right, we we'll animate the poster by creating a null. Control Alt Shift Y, create a null, or you just come over here. The parents are poster layer to the null object and you see however we move this null our post is gonna go same direction all right so now but we also want to animate this to 3d space so we're going to turn our null to 3d and also for our poster to follow we're also going to turn our poster to 3d all right so this is what we're going to be having okay so now we're going to bring it down it's going to see to the main position so we're going to just animate the position only for now all right, we want it to, let's just stop there. But let's let it come from the screen, like, you know, like it's, Now also we're gonna to animate the orientation, but not from here. We're gonna animate the orientation from, all right. So this is what the position looks like, all right. Then we're gonna go down to the poster layer and animate the orientation, all right? So as it's going down, we have this little bit slanted or tilted, a little bit. Turn it, I want to get that um, fill. Then we can also bring it back with time, go down to the null object again and increase 
the position uh, of the screen so it uh, more more like it comes like this all right like it goes in and come back out all right don't worry it looks a little bit sharpy if you increase the length of the time uh, of the keyframe you know space them out uh, you're gonna have a smooth flow it's easy ease all these keyframes so we have this Let's go down to the graph editor. Do it this way. So it looks like a drop, so everything just happens. Like, all right, guys. So this is good. This is good. This is awesome. So that's it on this effect. So I remember saying that I'm going to show you how to change a poster to whatever kind of stuff you want to write. To do that, all you have to do now is go inside your pre-composed layer and like this then you see the main poster you're going to um pre-compose it Control shift c leave all attribute because we don't want to get in touch with our old max and stuff like that leave all attributes outside so wanted just uh, just leave it it's pre-composed so if we go inside the pre-composed layer this is what we're gonna have all right so the poster itself so how we're going to be doing this now, I already made a tutorial on how to um, clean up and replace stuff. Um, it's, it's showing now on the screen, you know, you have to watch that tutorial, else this video is going to be way lengthy. So you have to clean up all of this, clean up with Adobe Firefly. I already made a detailed tutorial. Make sure you watch it, leave a comment. So I, I already cleaned up mine. So this is it, I'll just drag it after cleaning up um whatsoever that was there this is my adobe firefly cleaned up so make sure you check out that video and get back here so this is it this is what it looks like and so i can write whatever i want to write like all i have to do control alt shift t create a new text let's say we want to write posterize just adjust the text you know just work on how you like it to be change everything spice it up whatsoever don't be scared um and in case you run into any issue you can just turn on the main flyer back on this is the main flyer and this is what we're editing this is the main flyer and this is what we're editing so i already made a long edit so i'm just going to speed this layer up so at the end this is we're going to get something like this all right also guys you can still do some cool stuff to your background like add some motion to your background just go down scale it a little bit all right space your keyframe turn on the background now this is what we have so even if the poster comes in the background is still in motion all right guys so that's it on this tutorial guys i hope you understand the channel too um don't forget to like share comment stay subscribed um if you have a question or you want me to do another kind of effect, just drop it in the comment section. Um, like I said, everything will be left in the description. And that's how you get this effect. You know, you can even spice it up. Like, see, this is a, these are a couple of them I've worked on. You know, change different things according to my likings and all of that. Thank you and see you on the next one.